A business can be like herding cats in a thunderstorm. And if you're a business owner and you're torn between stuck, sticking to one digital platform or spreading across multiple platforms, stop what you're doing and come have a coffee with me. I'm Clem. I'm here to simplify content and social media marketing for small businesses. If you're a B2B business and you're after straightforward, no frills advice, then you're in the right place. The one really, really crucial point we need to have a talk about. It's that risk of putting all of your eggs in one basket. If that one platform that you're relying on gets banned or hacked, you could be left completely in the dark with no source of any sort of potential customers or clients coming through the door and pretty much nothing to show for your marketing efforts. It's a bit like as if your favorite coffee shop suddenly closed down and you had no idea where they went. Where would you go for all of your ketchups? The heart of the matter isn't about juggling platforms, it's knowing where your audience loves to hang out. Think of it like this, you wouldn't be planning a catch up with your best mates if you didn't know their favorite coffee spot, would you? It's the exact same thing when it comes to knowing who your audience is and where they like to hang out on social. For those solopreneurs, trying to be everywhere can be like a tired mom trying to chase a toddler that's on a sugar high. It's overwhelming to say the least. You're spinning plates with content creation, daily operations, and pickup and washing and all that crap. You've got a team, you've got more hands, but it still comes back to where your hot audience is spending their time. So how do you find out where your audience is and where they're hanging out? You gotta talk to them. Interviews, phone calls, coffee dates, ask them where they go to get their little info fix, what kind of content grabs them, hopefully it's videos, and where they like to scroll. Where do they love to learn? You might discover that they're lurking on LinkedIn in the evenings, or they're on TikTok, you know, to find some really entertaining content that they just happen to be learning about your industry as well. That's your sign on where to focus your energy, is where your clients are telling you where they hang out. If you're just starting to figure out where your ideal customers are, then I've got something for you that'll really help. If you check out episode one of the Mad Marketing Moms podcast, it's all about persona research and finding out where they hang out and what they love to do. We've put together a really nifty document filled out with all sorts of questions that you can ask them in interviews so that you can pinpoint where your audience is and what they love to do and where they spend their time. If you want this resource and more laid back, jargon free advice, then head over to my profile. And if this conversation was helpful, you know what to do.